Hello everyone, Sandra Alexa here from Game Changer and from my personal news. Welcome. Well, today is an incredible day, the next few days, and I'd hope to get this up sooner. But if you're anything like me, you have been feeling the different kind of energies and they affect people differently, physically, emotionally, spiritually, and you can be off balance, okay? So today I've got everything set and I'm ready to share. First of all, I suggest you get a copy of Game Changer. It's all about self-discovery. And 2020 is a pivotal game changer year for you personally and for the world, okay? So what I want to share today with you, and again, I'm still dealing with my, um, not so much my eyelid operation, but my eyes themselves. And so it will be a couple of months, but we all have our things that we're working through. Okay, so it began on July 22nd, okay, when the sun moved into the constellation of Leo and then gathered momentum through the day out of time on July 25th and the planetary new year on the 26th of July. This is when the royal lions of Regulus and Cyrus assisting in the birthing of a new time spiral for the new earth. According to the galactic calendars that were kept by the Mayan and other advanced races on the earth, the natural or the new year of the planet Earth is on July 26. Because the more traditional calendars do not keep accurate time in synchronization with galactic cycles, July 25th is designated as the day out of time. Okay, so that's tomorrow. So you can have this day out of time to do what you need to. When the Earth realigns with the galactic time in preparation for the new year of ascension and creation, the bridge between the old and the new, this is a magical day filled with joy, creativity, and magic as the new energy is birthed. Last year, we, we um, experienced the white magic wizard year. July 25th, the day out of time, allows you to let go and release the last year's time spiral and to make space to activate the new time spiral. Be mindful on the 25th and release what you do not want to take with you into the next galactic cycle. So each year on July 26, the sun, the earth, and the star Cyrus move to specific points in the sky, creating an opening between the physical and the spiritual worlds. This year, we experienced the Maya and Galactic New Year called Blue Storm. July 26, 2020, Mars also enters its shadow on that particular day. Okay, so we are experiencing Mars in Aries, which is your spiritual warrior. And Mars will be retrograde for a while, but I'll have a special video on that. Consciousness is calling for transformation. And what have we all been doing? Transforming. This process can be very intense, but if you embrace it, you can be transformed into a free spirit. In this transformational sift, you're going to experience unusual feelings on every level of your being. And you will sense emotional and physical imbalances and restructuring. And I have really been feeling that. Your challenges and issues will be revealed and brought out in the open for you to address. By being present with your old patterns, you have a unique opportunity to access the energy of Blue Storm, which is experienced as an inner transformational storm, a natural part of the vibrational shift. So you're recalibrating and redefining and it's quickening. Whether your experience sees these changes consciously or unconsciously, the vibrational change is adjusting your energy pattern to accommodate the flow of the language of light. 
As your transformation progresses, you quickly become aware of the unconscious material that you need to process. Okay. No longer can you escape the effects of your belief systems, be it fear or negativity. The transformation is experienced as if it were happening from the inside out. Things seem to cook inside of you, burning the dross. And you can look that up. And a lot of people have been really having a lot of sweats, a lot of heat. I mean, you're releasing a lot. Blue Storm is about purification and cleansing. Is the initiation by fire. So Blue Storm is the purification of the body temple and the ignition or ignition of the light body. In these last years of 26,000 year Mayan grand cycle, Blue Storm comes to help you in the disintegration process that moves you from separation to ascension. We've all been talking about awakening, ascension, transformation. Well, you're in it. Okay. This initiation by fire breaks any false containers of self that cannot withstand the flame of transmutation. Only your authentic identity will live through these fires, for you will be reborn in the heart of all that is. Blue Storm provides the water that purifies and quenches your spiritual thirst. In this state of consciousness, you stand willing to surrender everything to become fully what or who you are. As you trust and step into the fires of the unknown, you are changed forever. Blue Storm activates and prepares your nervous system and circuitry for complete transformation. It is the electromagnetic storm of transmutation, the clearing and quickening of physical, mental, emotional, and etheric bodies. Okay, as you become aligned with the descending energies and evolve in consciousness, your body's vibration is raised, becoming less dense. So your new alignment ignites the quickening process that transmutes the shadows of the past, including your experiences, your judgments, your thought forms, and old patterns that have held you back. So you should be excited. The personal integration of shadow is what creates the miracle. Now, this is probably where, for me, the, it's very extreme because I've been doing a lot of work on the shadow. I've been working with the gene keys for about a year and a half. And, and with my astrology, the nodal is all about uh, shadow work, uh, past life regression, ancestral, that type of thing. So the personal shadow is simply that which is separated from the light of consciousness, okay? And so Carl Jung said we need to go through the shadow to get to the light, by integrating shadow, you're freed from delusions of right or wrong, good and evil. Shadow provides an opportunity for you to bring in all of your expanded essence. Love it. Then on the 26th, you will be ready to, to set your intentions for your new cycle of life and evolution, both for yourself and for the planet. Then in the coming month of August... These energies culminate at the Lion's Gate on 8-8. Okay, then we experience the Lion's Gate, which in recent past years has been relatively powerful with full moons and eclipses falling within the gateway period. However, this year is different because we've already passed through the triple eclipse portal between June 5th and July 5th. And this prepared you for this Lion's Gate. So this year you begin the transit as in the, as in the sun moves into Leo. And as the sun rises conjunct with the blue star Cyrus in the dawn sky in the northern hemisphere. So it's time to activate the lion heart. We ask you to be aware that this will nevertheless be a powerful transit. Not least because Jupiter, Saturn and Pluto are gathering in retrograde in the 10th house of Capricorn and on the 8th eight which is the apex of that gate period. So there's a lot of different energies at work. A powerful moment of integration and grounding of these new energies and light codes. And by August the 12th, your new direction for the upcoming cycle will be established on, on the personal and planetary levels. 
This also suggests that the current collective energies, dissension and disruption will continue as old energies are released and the emotions and the responses of people continue to be aggressive and confrontational. Those who are wise will use this energy to stand in your power in a firm yet gentle way and to be creative even if the energy is unstable. You can be sure that these difficult energies will continue at least until the end of the year. December 20th, 2020, we have a big shift with Saturn and Jupiter. So resolve to do your inner work and find your inner peace and stability to support your path forward. Your choices. You can either react or you can respond. Right now, your choices are very powerful and can assist the planet on her journey into higher consciousness as you align with the divine light. Be your own witness and observer. A great time to do self-discovery week and have a personal session or reading. Hope you have a copy of Game Changer. Okay, so you can do the interactive exercises. It's all about self-discovery. So many blessings, much love, and I do hope that you share. I would really like it if you could like, if you could um, comment, and then if you could share. And if you feel at all, um, I would, if you feel that you are getting something from the YouTube channel, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe and be gentle with yourself. That is the big one, the understanding and gentle.